Hey British, this is in Christ, this is Miguel here, and today um, I'm just going to give you uh, a Bible study um, called Rejoice During Persecution. And I'll be reading from Matthew chapter 5, 1 through 12. I'll um, be reading from the New King James. And it says here, Bless all you who they revile and persecute you and say all kinds of evil against you falsely for, 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 mine, uh, for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven, for, for so they persecute the prophets who were before you. Okay, so the first question is, what was you know what ways that we should face persecution uh, during persecution well many Christian uh, many Christians are um, facing death to being in harsh labor uh, like China or North Korea for years and many facing you know they talk lies to them uh, and all these sorts of evil. Here. But we got to remember this that it doesn't matter if we get bullied or being a Christian or we, um, you know, been beaten up um, by those who hate Christians or whatever it may be. But the key of getting persecuted is to be more like Christ every single day. If you're not acting like Christ, then you're not getting persecuted from the world. Because the world, uh, you know, those who follow, hate, the world hates those who follow Christ instead of doing, you know, the, the world will accept lukewarm Christians, the world will accept. Uh, you know, anything is not, you know, worshiping uh, God. And, and, you know, God is, you know, everything to me. And God has a plan for you. You know, during the, the 1300s through the 1700s, there were at least one million Christians killed by Roman Catholics, um, Communists, Lutherans, and all these different sects of Christianity. And basically, they are trying to wipe out the whole Christian, you know, from this world. And so, what way should we do during persecution? Let me read you Matthew chapter 5 verses 43 to 48. It says you have you have heard that it was it was said you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemies. But I say to you love your enemies bless those who curse you do good to those who hate you, and pray for those who spiritually use you and persecute you, that you may be sons of your Father in heaven, for he may makes his sun rise on the evil and good and on the good, and sends rain on the on the just and on the unjust. For if you love those who love you, what reward have you? Do you, do not even the test tax collector do the same? And if you greet your your brother brother and only, what what do you do more than others? Do not even the tax collector do so. And, and it says uh, the same thing, but in the, the Gospel of Luke. Uh, chapter 6, 27 through 36. 
And you know, I, I'm, I just want to encourage you. Pray for those who persecute you. We must love the enemy, the, the people, not, not you know, demons and devils. And if they, you know, if, if, if the enemy, you know, beats you up, then pray for them. Uh, we must be like, uh, like Christ every single day. Every day we should pray for for missionaries and Christians in into dangerous countries. Uh, I'm not gonna say anything. Uh, I'm not gonna say the names of the countries, but you know them. And this is a quick Bible study about rejoicing during persecution. Again, if you got any questions, um, again, you can, I'll put all the information in the description. And you can turn in, uh, yeah, you can tune into my other video. Um, it's called, you know, anyway. But, Again, we gotta rejoice during persecution. We gotta love the enemy. And, uh, yeah, so that's it for today. Again, if you got any questions, please uh, comment, send me a PM, or send me an email, and I'll put the email right down below. So, may the Lord bless you and keep you. And have a wonderful day.